Now that you've learned several basic brush strokes all using a flat brush, let's learn how to combine some of those strokes to create some fun things. This is a downloadable practice guide that is available on platonline.com. And I'm also going to lay a sheet of artist tracing paper or parchment paper on top. I'm using my number 10 flat brush that's fully loaded with folk art licorice paint. And let's learn some of these strokes and see how we can combine them. This little folk art flower here is very fun to paint. This center ball here is, what is it? It is the half circle stroke that we just did. I touched, applied pressure, allowed that brush handle to roll within my fingers to kind of create that circle. Now let's do a comma stroke. This is a comma stroke to the left. I'm going to touch, apply pressure, full lift and drag to get back up onto that reverse edge. Touch, apply pressure. And you'll notice the more I use less pressure, my strokes get smaller. Let's do that in reverse. I'm going to do a comma stroke to the right. I'm applying a lot of pressure right here to kind of create that fat stroke. Applying a little bit less pressure here and even less pressure here. You'll notice that my strokes are all, I'm running out of paint, my strokes are getting slightly smaller by the amount of pressure that I'm applying. Let's do a straight stroke to combine the whole thing at the bottom here. Two little strokes here make a straight stroke. And let's try a chisel edge. That's gonna create the stem of our folk art flower. That chisel edge. How about an S stroke? Here we're gonna start on the chisel edge of the stroke, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag, and end up down into the stroke itself, or into the stem. Here's another one. Touch, apply pressure, back up on the chisel edge. Here's a few more comma strokes. Again, very light pressure this time, I'm making a smaller stroke. Comma strokes to the right and comma strokes to the left. Let's make a few small tiny ones up here at the top. And there you have it, a little folk art flower. Now let's try combining a few more strokes. I'm loading my brush again with some more paint. And let's do a ribbon here. Remember that um, stroke that we did, that we started on the chisel edge, kind of a U stroke, applied pressure, ended back up on the chisel edge. That's the loop of a bow. So let's create the loop of the bow. We're going to start on the chisel edge, apply pressure. I'm ending back up with less pressure on the chisel edge of the bow. We can reverse that, do the other half of the bow. Continuing that same process, I'm gonna make a double looped bow. I'm on the chisel edge of the brush at the beginning of the stroke as well as the end of the stroke. Applying pressure in the middle and that creates the fat part of the stroke. A little straight stroke, the very first stroke we learned is what creates the knot of the bow. The tails are done very simply using S stroke. We're gonna start on the chisel edge, apply pressure, pull, lift, and drag. Chisel, pull, lift, end up back on the chisel. See how fun it is when you learn how to do some brush stroke work? You can even create a trailing border. Apply pressure, these are S strokes. See how easy that is? And on that brush stroke border, you can then come back and kind of add a few comma strokes. To the right, to the left. Combining brush strokes, once you've learned how to work with them, is really a lot of fun. 